Okay, so reporting is started and the meeting is starting at 4.01 p.m. Um, and present is Christine Marglin, Ann Brigham, Elaine Julio, and BZ Riley. And our guest is Sam Spisiak. Uh, okay, so. Um, and Barbara Bigelow. And I didn't say my name? Oh, thank you, and so. Barbara Bigelow. I guess I thought it so loudly, I thought maybe it had actually <laughs> I do that sometimes. Uh, so Sam, I don't, I'm pretty sure you know Elaine. Mm -hmm. you? Yes, okay. And then BZ is looking a lot like a cat right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll be with us very shortly. Um, I'm gonna give Christine a great gift today. I actually remembered, I wrote in big letters, approve minutes, because I always forget to ask this. So, um, is there uh, any discussion of the minutes from our last meeting? They look good. Okay, uh, someone want to move to approve the minutes from the last minute me so meeting? So moved. And a second? Second. And all those in favor, just raise your hand and I will note that it is um, unanimous. And Sam, I don't know if you know BZ or not. Um, I think I've met her at the library before. Yeah, I think I met you. Art, art teacher? Right. Yeah, I yeah. was the art teacher at Tewsbury for yeah. decades. That's great. Yeah, all those murals you see in the school, those Love it. were my doings. Yay. That's I great. aged out, you know. <laughs> it's like getting to sixth grade and you have to leave. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Hit the, okay, the I was wall. actually going to... That suggests that we switch the first two agenda items um, so that we can kind of talk with Sam. Um, our process, Sam, you've already been through half of it, which is talking with me about being a member. And just in the interest of full disclosure, I approached Sam. I've been really hoping that Sam would want to be a member of our committee. Um, you know, I've had the pleasure of working with her on the Turkey Trot and on other um, library fundraising things. So I'm really happy to see you here. The second part of our process is to ask the person who's here why they would like to join the recreation committee. And so I don't know whether you'd like to say a few words about that. Sure. Um, yeah, go. we're we're obviously I just dress the part. So that's the first <laughs> major reason. Um, it's a fashion choice. Um, but um, I just um, I've been in this town for seven years and my kids are two, four and six. So I'm like kind of starting to be have a little more time to get involved. And um, I just have a lot of energy and a lot of ideas. And I like doing I love this town. I love getting my family engaged in this town. And I loved working with Barbara. So that's um, why I'm interested in joining. Okay, yeah. you're in. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it's kind of a foregone conclusion. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions or things you want to say before we take that all important vote? Well, I, I'd like to know how you have so much energy when you have a two, a four, and a six year old. I do. I guess I have energy that I want to not use on them, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'd like to use another part of my brain, would be really nice for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there's Good. lots of opportunities to do that here. And Sam, I I met you briefly at the Turkey Trot, and I'm delighted that uh, you're interested in joining the committee. No pressure here, just a question of curiosity, and you can say, I don't know. But I'm just curious if there are any ideas that you have off the top of the head for, for events that you've been just dying to do. I have one. Okay. And it's kind of an easy one. Um, a kite festival. <gasps> like, just advertising okay. to have everyone bring their kite behind town hall or in front of the library because my family's done that and it's a blast and it's a great place to fly a kite yeah. and it would be beautiful mm -hmm. Love and that. i don't think you'd have to do too much besides get everyone together maybe great idea. the wind yeah and the wind the wind <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe maybe we could have kids you know you can make those simple wind spinning things out of a piece of paper yeah and we could have so people who don't have a kite could make a little wind you know spinner and um i know how to do that i've done that a thousand times but uh, i bet you we could do a kite making too 
Mm-hmm. And that's a little more complicated. Like, yeah. I mean, in a, you know, if you have a something for a couple hours, mm. um, just a little more complicated. And if it's windy, which you hope it is, I mean, I guess you could do it in town hall, but it'd be sort of nice to be all together. What's your vision of it, Sam, to be all on the common together behind the. I don't know that when we flew, we just did it once last, uh, I don't know if it was fall or spring, it all blurs together, but I think the wind was better in front of the library than behind town hall was my mm. memory. Um, but just a lot of beautiful kites and people getting together was I love it. my thought. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Well, Cape Wind is about to take off on Martha's Vineyard, which is sort of cool. Um, so oh, that's that right. yeah. the state, the state is we now are going to have an investment in pretty big, the biggest wind project, I think, in the country or, mm -hmm. you know, on the maybe in the ocean, maybe not on land. But anyway, that's sort of cool, cool. too. That's that cool. Well, how about we, so we have two votes here, don't we? We have one about having Sam join the committee. And then we have one about doing the kite thing. Um, I'd so like to nominate Sam to join our committee. Thank you. And Elaine, I apologize. I just, I'm looking at your name and all of a sudden I went, I mispronounced your last name. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you know, okay. I know. I, okay, sorry. We all notice that, Barbara, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> Anyway, so there's a, is there a second? I sure. second. And all those in favor, raise your hand. And it is unanimous. So Yay. welcome. Yay. So Thank I write you. to Grace, is that correct? And let her know? Yes. Okay. So I will do that uh, straight away. And um, I had actually, with the hope that you were going to bring up the kite, the kite idea, I uh, had put into um, the list of events and other ideas where if you hadn't brought it up, I was going to ask about the Kate, the kites. Good heavens. See, I really cannot talk to them. <laughs> You're not putting people named Kate up in the air. <laughs> That's a different idea though. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different idea. Um, so uh, we, we have, it's a, it's a fairly short agenda, but some of the items might be long. So we talked last week and or last month, and we gave a, came up with a list of the things that we wanted to do. And what I did was just kind of sit down, why hello, Etta, um, kind of looking at what the times, the dates were that we were thinking about doing different things just to see how it would all fit. So we have just going chronologically, late April to early May will be the mushroom growing. April to May will be the night sky. May 15th to 21st, that was a more specific one because that's when the birds would be flying is the bird migration. Late May to early June is the Ames Pond Walk. And then we didn't really specify when the art show might be. But I just wanted to- I know when, the, I know when that is. Oh, good, when? It's the last weekend in June. Oh, perfect, okay. And- um, It's just the one day, right, BZ? Yeah, but I'm helping to run that with Joan, so it's the thirtieth, Barbara. Sunday Thank the thirtieth. All right, good. I think it'd be good if we helped advertise that. You know, we yeah. sort of made. Yeah, we said we would do that. Yeah. Yeah, I had uh -huh. actually had for for our agenda, we can go through some of these other things very quickly, um, because we'd already talked about them, but we didn't have time last time to talk about the art show. So what I'm hoping is we can just go through the other ideas really quickly with the things that are left hanging to do with them and then spend more time on the art show about what we can be doing to be helpful. Okay. Um, so just going through the different ideas, we have um, the walks planned. I want to give an update on the first walk. The first walk was scheduled for Sunday, February 25th at Ames Pond to be led by Graham Sefton. And we decided to uh, reschedule it because of ice. Um, and so in conversation with Chris at Kestrel, uh, we have put that off until May 10th. We had a really nice response. We had a mm -hmm. cutoff of 15 people, uh, 24 people wanted to sign up. So we have the waiting list of nine. Um, most of the people who could come on the 25th can also come on uh, March 10th. 
And I think there were two people, a couple who couldn't. So I'll just take off of the waiting list and put them on. Did you that. say March 10th or May 10th? I'm sorry. I said May 10th the first time, but I meant March 10th. Okay. Yeah. I think okay. there's going to be a lot of correcting today with me. And I don't know why. Um, my brain okay. seems to be short circuited somewhere. All right. Can I ask a question about that? I oh, thought please. Graham was leading us on a walk behind town hall. Not anymore. No. Yeah. We had, yeah. Let, the reason he's what not, I because forget. they, he didn't, they decided not to pursue the grant to improve that trail. Oh. And a large part of doing the walk back there was to show people where this new trail would cut over. And I don't think he got permission from the uh, landowner to actually uh -huh. okay. go across and things were were not as, as smooth as he had hoped. Okay. Shocking. Yeah, yeah there, <laughs> there were a whole pile of what he described as unintended consequences. <laughs> yeah. Really, and just a lot of things which were going to make the process much more complicated than he and the others who were working on it wanted to do. Right. The second walk, I would actually like to propose that we not do. The second walk was one that I was going to lead. Um, it's just we've got enough other things going on that I would just be inclined to do the two walks. So we've got Ames Pond in the winter, and then we have Ames Pond in the spring. And I think that makes a nice pairing. People were really excited about going to the trails around Ames Pond. So the feedback that I got from people was really good, you know, because they feel they don't really know the trails. They just would like to get oriented. I got a so really nice. Hmm? When you talked to Chris at uh, Kestrel, did you ask about the um, the timing on the improvement of the boardwalk so that we could um we could be doing the boardwalk for the second one yes i did so that'll okay. be end of may beginning of june okay oh, good excellent yeah. yeah so that one we'll we'll be able to do it on the boardwalk so because we had talked about doing the second walk is this i don't think we ever voted on it so do we have to have a vote not to do something we never voted to, uh, to have in the first <laughs> place okay all right just want to make sure i'm dotting my eyes and crossing. I I also would like to propose that just our committee, we just, that we could go on a walk down there. That would be um, nice. Because Elaine and I know people who live there and they, I'm sure that one of them would, you know, show us what's down there. It would sort sure. of be nice just for our committee to see it before, you know, what, I mean, after it's gotten the boardwalk yeah. fixed. I think that's a wonderful idea. And we don't have to announce it. We'll just do it as a... Mm -hmm you know, team building for the committee. But um, I think people would like to see it, you know, it's sort of cool. So we'll have a rope walk and things like that for the team building <laughs> exercises. <A> thrust fall. <laughs> Scaling trees. Yeah. A fashion show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so we can, we can get that one figured out at a later date, um, exactly when that would be. And I'll be in touch with Chris about the um, uh, when exactly when they think it'll have be done. But when I talked to her before and, and we had some correspondence over the winter walk as well, she was saying still end of May, beginning of June. I think they were still having some fundraising mm -hmm. that needed to be going on. They were short. So um, anyone who's so inclined to, to donate to that, I guess that would be through the Kestrel um, Foundation. The mushroom growing, um, that one will be April to May. And BZ, you were going to ask Wim if he would be willing to. Yeah, and he unfortunately is in the midst of finishing a house. He's building oh, a my. house with his daughter. So uh -huh. he's kind of overwhelmed with okay. that. Who his would be another person? Baby, and they're trying to finish it before the baby comes and blah, 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 you know. Yeah. So um, the other person was Brian Bender, and I didn't reach out to him. He okay. has quite a mushroom growing operation. Okay. I, I don't know if he would lead a mushroom, but he would show you his mushroom. I'm sure he'd yeah. be. I think what we had talked about doing, um, or you had suggested and we decided to do, is to have someone just lead a demonstration on the process. Right. So giving participants an opportunity to decide if they want to invest in the material. So if someone just can kind of show their operations and answer yeah, questions. Yeah, I think Brian would do that. But, okay, um, great. I, Wim is just too busy. He's just okay. trying to finish a house. What is Brian's last name again? Bender. Oh, he Bender. Instrumental music at the school. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. he's he's a really great guy. And okay. um, anyway. Okay, we'll get that in. I Just, can ask him. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. Um, that's April to May. So you know, if we can have these dates 
probably by our next meeting because that will then be going into April at that point. Okay. Um, then putting the any of these dates in the um the mm -hmm. our town. I'm sorry. Say what? You know the newsletter. Our town's coming out. Is there? Yeah. Any I have dates? questions. But yeah, if we have the dates, I'll put them in. But I don't think we're going to have dates for some of these. Most of these, I'm just going to be saying here are things that we're planning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I I want to put all of these things in there, um, mm -hmm. and anything that I can put a date in, that's great. But um, that's March fifteenth is when that's due, and we may or may not have dates mm -hmm. for all these things by then. Okay. I'll just tell people, you know, watch watch for the town wide newsletters around that. Right. The night sky one. Um, so Christine is R has been the primary person organizing that. Is that correct? Okay. So I will talk with her because I just want to make sure that I can use, um, put Tom's name in the town bulletin. I don't want to put anybody's name in saying they're doing something if they haven't agreed to it. And then the bird migration one, Elaine, you were going to ask either Cliff or Leslie, and that's not till May 15th. Between Cliff May is great with it. Great. Oh, he is. Oh, you've talked yeah. to him. Oh, yep, super. I talked to him. Yep. Oh, he's... thank you so much. Yeah, great. he he loves birding. He'll he'll bird all the time. Oh, that's he, wonderful. He thought it would be nice nicer to do it in the fall, but he said there's birds everywhere all the time. So, yeah, and we can do it both because they go one one way and then they turn around and they come back. Right. <laughs> Elaine, could you just repeat the name of the person you're referring to? Cliff Reed. Cliff C L I F R E A D. Oh, so okay. And R, R E A D. Yeah. It's just like reading a book. We have an actual mm -hmm. date. Yeah. Sorry, do we have an actual date or is it just sometime in the spring? No, just we don't. Yeah, we actually don't have um, specific dates for any of these yet, which okay. in terms of the town newsletter, I'm not too concerned about simply because we can say generally when they are. And, you know, people seem to be looking at their emails it, to uh, RSVP. Do um, we have anything planned for the fall? Maybe we should do the birding in the fall. Sounds we like don't yet because it's the other fiscal year. So we've been focusing on oh. this year for now. Okay. Because uh, we had taken off several, the, the, the tree bark one, we had decided to wait until next mm -hmm. year on. And there was something else as well that we had decided that we would wait to do until the fall. Well, so, and we do field day in the fall now. We do field day in the fall. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sam, did you, did you participate? Did you and your kids come to field day? We came right at the end because we had soccer oh, before, oh, but okay. we, yeah, it was great. Yeah, it's a good event. It's a really nice yeah. event. Um, okay, so let's talk about, I think that's all we really need to talk about with the events. We've kind of gone through everything about them as far as I, as I can recall. Um, art show. So first, BZ, can you kind of just give an overview for Sam? I was hoping the other things were kind of self-explanatory. Mushrooms are about mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I could elaborate. <laughs> birds are about birds. And the art show is about art. <laughs> Here we go. No more to say. Can I just clarify? It's a studio tour. Yes. Yeah, it's it's not an art show. You. Thank you very much. I had the only You're welcome. Thing. It started out, the original idea was an art show, but it's been a studio tour for a while. I mean, I think Joan, who's really the organizer of this, I think she thinks of this, she can sell things. Mm -hmm. um, right. That it'll be a sale thing for her. Is yeah. Joan yeah. who? For Joan everybody. Green. Say again? Green. Joan Green. green. Color green. Um, where, and where does oh. she, where's her studio? West Pelham Road. I think, and her husband's an artist too. And uh, she oh, had- Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, And I think her idea was for artists to see each other's studios as well as just to see, you know, turns out there are quite a lot of artists in this town. Mm -hmm. and, um, a lot of people don't know other people's work. And so she's thinking that we'll, the artists who are gonna show will have- the night before we'll have a little like mm -hmm. tour of each other's studios. Cause once you do the, you open your studio, you don't leave. So you don't get to see. So we'll see if that happens, but that's sort of the idea. And then the studios will be open all day. And um, I'm going to invite 
uh, Beth Reamer, who's the art teacher at the school, to come uh, show her pottery to the kit, you know, in my studio with me. So a lot of people are doubling up or asking somebody else to, to come join them. So I think there are eight studios, but I think there'll be more like 12 artists or um, showing their work. And I guess, you know, our job will be to help her make maps and signs and get the, you know, advertising the out, get about it. And it's not, we don't have to worry about weather the end of June, unless we have a tornado or something, but. Easy. Uh, <laughs> well, things happen. <laughs> um, we'll be like, remember that on that meeting when BZ said that about the tornado? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyway, I think it, it should be um, a nice way to bring the artists together in the town. So because, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who make art here, but we don't know who they are. I just heard about another artist yesterday, a woman mm -hmm. who's a sculptor. She taught sculpture at Amherst College or something. She lives in town and was like, oh, I wonder who she retired and has a big studio here. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I'd like to mm -hmm. see. You know, so I think it may be an annual thing and then we'll mm -hmm. have different people, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so. Nice. We'll stay oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say it happened before during COVID, but it was very, um, I would say limited because of the, you know, people were, yeah. couldn't really go in the studios and I don't know. Did anybody else go to that? I mean, I went. I did. And, yeah, I did go. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was really great. Yeah. And I hope you won't be aggravated at me for saying this, but Sam is also an artist. And so I'm just thinking that there are people like you and others who I can make them sign for the art show. <laughs> That's the kind of art I can do. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. <laughs> studio, I can make the sign for the art show. That's kind of <laughs> you'll, you'll be an important yeah. part of that yeah <laughs> but the, yeah so um okay <laughs> it's like there are there are people when you were saying there are people here who we don't even know who are artists right sometimes in our midst and we might also want to think about or ask about ways that we could help advertise this to people who are artists and i don't know whether it, it would be a town White email just saying, are you an artist? Get a hold of, you know, BZ or Joan and- um, Do you want more though? No, I don't yeah, think- Yeah, so. I think, I, you know, Joan's away and she's back the first week of March. And okay. as BZ knows, she's put a lot of planning into this okay. and she's gotten a grant. So I think Hands maybe off. when okay. she gets back and it's helpful, we could invite her back again and say, how can we support you? Super. Um, because she has done a lot of work around it. And I think she's been very thoughtful about the planning. So okay, I yep. think she's sort of basing it on, you know, there's the asparagus yep. uh, pottery tour that happens. Mm -hmm. and there, the there's Hilltown a, pottery tour. Hilltown yep. pottery, like basing it sort of on that model. Mm -hmm. um, and it happen, will always happen at the same time every year. And then other, so the, like next year, people who aren't in it this year can sh be in it yeah. next year. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you don't want to have you know thirty different places to go. Right. I think you want to keep it to about eight or you okay. know six or eight or something. Okay. So think... basically, then we'll just take our lead from what you and Joan say you need, which at this point is help make maps and signs and do some advertising. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. That sounds great. Um, did I have one more thing to ask about that? She did get some money from the art. So she probably has some money to make signs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And just thinking about our budget at this point, we'll probably have some extra money as well if um, she needs it. Don't, okay. you know, we, we should probably sit down and look at the budget, but I think that we do have some extra, we will likely have a little extra money. So um, I just think I was thinking there was something else about the studio tour that I wanted to ask, but there is not. So I will just, I will get that into the uh, town newsletter. In fact, Beezy, if you could just like 
pulled together some thoughts on that for me to include in it because you can speak more knowledgeably about what it's going to entail than I can, but we can get the something into um, the town newsletter. Sure, I'll just I'll send you a sentence or two about it. That would be that's all we need. That would be yeah. great. Thank I you. I mean, it's very vague, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's one thing we do have a date for, and people can start thinking about and planning for that. Um, can we net up with other ideas? Can I love the idea of doing um, a kite event? And is that sounding like something that I'm, we're seeing a lot of nodding heads about it? Mm. We'll need to advertise it. Um, the other thing that we could do is provide kites for people who might not have kites. Mm -hmm. Kites are fairly inexpensive. Um, so how are you in, envisioning this, Sam? Is just people arrive with their kites or they get a kite or how does this work? Yeah, I guess arrive with their kites. I think if you had some kites, that could be fun too. Okay. Um, I, I could rope Andy into making coffee if it's a morning thing. That's <laughs> always a good draw. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, I honestly only have the idea. I don't have much, much more idea around it yet. It's a, okay. it's a, it's a blank canvas for us all to work with. <laughs> so um, when were you thinking yeah. of doing it? it Maybe like there is like, when? I don't mm -hmm. know. When's it the windiest? Or when do you have a gap in, in programming? Or um, like, is it going to be the rainiest summer in the world again? <laughs> I would I say know. you certainly have time in, in mid-June. I think that's a great time, yeah. Uh, which, yeah, Christine? Is this an event where we would have a, like, wind day, you know, like, um, if we plan it for a certain day and then it's a very still day, we have a backup day? Yeah. Or... Okay. I think that makes sense. Absolutely. I think so. When In which it? case, maybe plan it. So don't you think it's probably windy or soon? I don't know. Seems like it would I be don't know. Sooner than June? I don't I'm know. sure we could probably Google and find out when the windiest days are in shoot spirit. I bet spring is the windiest day. I know. I was thinking that too. Like spring. tomorrow? Did you get yeah. your wind advisory <laughs> from National oh, Grid? Let's do it tomorrow. It's going to supposed to be a wind advisory. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put in for this. You don't want it to be too windy. <laughs> right. Heel right. Force Dive wind. bombing kites. Yeah, I'm just looking. Sam, do you remember what month you did it in when you did it last year with your family? I did it in the fall. Yeah. But I feel like we could do it in the spring, maybe in April. Mm -hmm. April? Okay. If it's... Right. Should... You know, they're um, in Japan... <laughs> There is national kite, you know, uh, kites are a big thing in Asia and um, it's always on uh, the beginning of May is the kite festival in Japan and Korea. And, you know, they have, it's a big thing. Kids day, I think at children's day. It's, I think Washington DC has a big one. Too. Yeah. So Washington DC has theirs on March 30th. There you mm. go. They're warmer than us. Mm -hmm. So if we were to push it up, what I wrote in is possible. They are one of a few weeks. Mid to at mid April. That sounds good. Okay, put mid April in the next yeah, there's... time to to have um a a wind. We call them rain dates. I guess we'd have a wind date in case it's completely still. The windiest month. I'll in, just like in Shootsbury is February. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> well, that's tomorrow, still February, right? That's right. There, just so you know, there is a school break April 14th through 20th. So people might not be around as oh, much. Right. Okay. Um, that. So, so not April 14th. And don't make it the weekend of town meeting. Not weekend of town meeting and okay. that's the 27th right right looks like we're looking at early april yeah or early may one early, of the two okay early april or early may okay <laughs> sounds good 
Um, the only last thing I have about the events that we have planned is that in the past, we've done a lot of these kinds of things um, in collaboration with the library. And I was planning on doing that again, unless there's an objection to that. The benefit is that Marianne collects information about who's coming and um, then the notice gets out both through us and through the library. Is that all right? That's okay. good. Great. Um, oh, and I also <laughs> wanted to say, cause we are doing those walks, um, co-hosting them with the open space committee and got very, very nice and very enthusiastic response from Gail and Penny about the walks. And Penny suggests, Penny um, was um, apologizing for not being able to be more involved in it, but with all the work that she's doing with the library, she feels she can't take on anything else at the moment. Um, I but, forget. Barbara, can you remind me again about that? Like the open space committee was going to co-sponsor it or? Yeah, we're just co-sponsoring it. So it's just oh. going out as being sponsored by both. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, then um, let's see, I was going to say, oh, she suggested, and maybe we could do this in the fall, that it would be really nice to have a uh, walk at, at, at Ames Pond in the evening because the, the all of those sculptures are lit up. And she said it can be really quite magical. Uh -huh. so that might be a really nice thing to think of for the fall. Well, maybe that's why we should do that walk. Hmm? Maybe we should do the walk in the fall because we know that the boardwalk will be done by then instead yeah, of I, yeah. scheduling something and then the boardwalk's not done. Or Well, but, but I don't think you want to do the boardwalk in the full moon I, 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 at night. I think you right. would want to do just the sculptures and the area that's... Um, on the other side of the boardwalk. Why not? Can I flip that question? I don't see what the problem would be with having both a walk in the spring, early summer and in the fall. I think this is really a, mm. it's not a lot of work on our part to do it. And people seem to enjoy and want to have more knowledge and opportunities to walk around there with the guide. Well, and Barbara, you sound like you had a waiting list that was almost as long as the, yes. right? So I think that's, I agree. I think that's great. Okay. Yeah, let's do it twice. Okay, so we'll have these two and then we already now have an event for the fall as well, along with our um, family field day. Did did Kestrel fix some of those sculptures that needed some? Um... Yeah. Wow, great. So that first one, when you walk up from the parking lot, that one needed. Um... Yep. Oh, that's cool. Wow, go Kestrel. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could have a little plug for Kestrel in our, um, whatever <laughs> we put in our town. Yeah. You know, just, they're helping. Um, I mean, I think the Ames Pond sculptures and it's like a really cool thing that people don't know about. Um, I will that, add, I will write to Chris and ask if she can put together a couple of sentences about what they've done so that we can include it. Yeah, I think that would be really nice. Give them a yeah. little. Barbara, I don't know if you can see Sam has her hand up. Oh, no, I can't. I was looking at the paper. Yes, thank you. <laughs> because I was looking at the calendar, the next meeting is the end of March. Mm -hmm. If we want to do the end of, like maybe if we do like April 6th or 7th. You're really breaking We might not be able to do this. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to fix that. I'll do it together. Okay. Maybe that'll help. Um, Can you hear me better here? Yeah. Yes. Hear me? All right. What if if we pick a date like the first April 7th, like that first weekend of April? I think the next rec meeting is the end of March, so we might just want to make that decision sooner rather than the next meeting. Um, so there's time to get the word out. And making April 7th, I'm um, missing what yeah. we were going to do uh, on April uh, 7th, the kite? the kite. Oh, okay, thank uh, you. The kite, you know, like the, the kite thing, if we want to do the kite thing like that first weekend of April. Perfect. Um, 
Okay. It was, I think it'd be better just to decide no than at the end of March. Thank you was, very much. Because I. Really how does that sound? That. Yeah, I think that sounds great. Others. Okay. April. Okay, I can get it. In. I will put that Sunday in. Sunday morning. Hmm? What day is April seventh? Sunday, April seventh. Okay. What Sunday? Time? Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Saturday's soccer. So we probably want to avoid soccer. Right? Saturday soccer. I know I have soccer. That's why I said Sunday. <laughs> we all we all went through that. I remember. What time would I you know? <laughs> uh well, I guess the thing we'd have to worry about Sunday would be the church. Uh -huh. So we might have to do it behind town hall. Yeah, because right. you have church parking. Uh, but, what time is church? Church parking. Unless, I, don't I think know. it's like 9 and 10, maybe. maybe. We could do it 11 or something. Do it 11. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Does that sound okay? I like that. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. <laughs> and I will ask um, Janice to put it into the town newsletter but what happens sometimes because of the delay between the date when everything is due and when the town newsletter actually goes out, often the event um, would already be past April 7th. So, mm -hmm. but I will also be sending out a town wide um, announcement probably two weeks at a time about it. That seems to be a good planning time for people. Sam, yep. if you want to give me your email address, I send out the minutes at the end of every meeting uh, to everybody on the committee. So if you want to give me your email address or put it in the chat, I could send you the Oh, yeah, I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. I'll put it. Just confirming that the church service is at 930. So 11. Oh, okay. So 11 will be a good one. We should be fine. Okay, so are there any other things that we need to do with our planned events? Um, Barbara, can you just fill us in on um, March 6th, the pollinator workshop? So we're co-sponsoring that, right? Right. The, okay. I didn't know we were co-sponsoring it until <laughs> we were co-sponsoring it. So I, I did not pull a fast one. Um, I had expressed an interest in the, as an individual in the pollinator workshop, and then um, as did Penny. So somehow our personal thing turned into a MIDI thing. So the we aren't doing anything. I think we're sending think out was, an email. That, Elaine's handling it. Yes, that was me. <laughs> that was me. Because uh, um, Becky asked me. If we were co-sponsoring it, and I, I knew that we had talked about it, and I said we're not doing any kind of anything for it, it's just happening. And she said, "Okay, then I'll just put you in as co-sponsors." So I did that without asking the committee. I thought we could get good good press for it. Yeah, thank. You. I actually appreciated that, Elaine. And you did. I think you got. Yeah, it was just a quick conversation, so it was. Yeah. I mean, I hope that's okay with everybody. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to Those do anything. Those who are interested show up. Yeah. I'm excited. I just want to take a TV. That's okay. So thanks for bringing that up about the pollinator workshop. I had kind of forgotten about that because I was thinking about that as just something that we I just needed to show up for, but um, we're apparently, whatever that means, co-sponsoring it. <laughs> Um, the other, so that's it in terms of the events activities. The third one is a couple of meetings ago, I had said that I was planning on stepping down as chair at the end of this year. And nobody has come rushing to me saying, I want to be a chair. So um, I don't really know people in town to know who's somebody who would be, who would be a good person to step into this position. Um, I think given that a big task starting next year is going to be the community gardens that somebody who kind of has energy and knowledge for that is going to be would make a really good chair. So are any kind of thoughts comments about this. 
Um, can I update you a little bit on uh, the community garden idea? Yeah. Um, we're not going to have the library completed until hopefully um, the end of summer of 2025. Okay. And we are not going to have the landscaping done until mm. then. And and we're probably going to do landscaping after the library is open. So it might actually be, you know, we'll be starting to prep things at the end of 2025. But I'm not sure that with the way the Conservation Commission has put in the boundaries of um, wetlands, for us, I'm not sure there's going to be a place that they would approve of a community garden. That's what I the library. Yeah. So we might have to rethink this again. Okay. Okay. And when would we know that about being able to cite it there after the construction or? No, probably we're getting our, um, Order of conditions just came in today from the um, CONCOM. And so we have 10 days for people to comment and or challenge them. So uh, I'll know better by midsummer this year. Okay. So I have a question for you, Elaine. Yes, ma'am. Um, we got $30,000 from the, um, yep. <laughs> the committee. <laughs> yep take that money let's say that we can't do it at the library um could we take that money and put it in lands into landscaping for the library no no, no. we would have to have a town vote to do that oh okay yeah because we, we yeah because it's it's been set aside for a community garden Right. But could the gar could it be like community flower gardens or, you know, it, it could be, but we would have to, the of, scope would have to be significantly changed. And so you'd have to go back to the um, community preservation committee and then go back to uh town town meeting to adjust it. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, I hate to give up that $30,000. Oh, yeah. Um, and I don't think anybody has energy to do it anywhere else in town to do community. Right. So maybe yeah. once once everything's the dust settles around the library and the landscaping, maybe we could think of some way to take we're that. Gonna need, we're going to need trees. We're going to need a pollinator garden yeah. there. You know, there's a I, lot of things that. Yeah, I think that the the CDC would be very happy to. Well, at least I would think they would say, sure, you know, you could put it into um, well, in the li library. And it could be, you know, the people people could sign up to help take care of the garden. So it's a community mm -hmm. garden in that way. Like people mm -hmm. could help um, to maintain the garden, to make the garden and, you know, maintain it. So yeah. it's not that far off from what we wrote. Right. <laughs> There'll yeah. be no fencing. Um, there'll be no, you know, a lot fun. of those things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let the deer eat all the day lilies and, you know. But anyway, I, I just think that maybe we should um, think about re-applying that money in a different way. That yeah. would be thinking on that. Yeah, I agree. Well, it, it sounds like that's not, uh, having somebody who has energy and knowledge about community gardening is not going to be a major criterion for re my replacement but if you could be thinking about people who you know kind of who would be have the energy interest in um sharing this committee because like i said i just really don't know people in town to know even who to who, suggest who are these pollinator people because maybe we make it a pollinator garden and the the people who are doing the pollinator can i get back to the chair thing for just a second because i it's i want to make sure because that doesn't, we don't, or, or are you springing up about pollinators? In terms yeah, I'm of, saying that somebody who's doing the pollinator right. might be interested in. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. Not, I don't Barbara, know. Would you be willing to just write up a couple sentences about what you do and what the time commitment is? Yeah, absolutely. Because that I think could be helpful. Yeah. I think that 
time commitment for these things are, is always, you know, a little greater than what we see. Um, okay. I will do that at the next, for our next meeting. Great. Okay. Um, I, can I ask you, Elaine, another CDC question? Wait, before you go on to that, BZ, oh, I just have yep. a question about the chair. So, yeah. Barbara, it sounds like word of mouth is one thing, but mm -hmm. do we know, do people like put put up a little sign in the library or something or uh, put something in the new the newsletters coming up, Barbara? So, Oh, yeah, put it in the newsletter. Put it in the newsletter? Put it in the newsletter? Yeah. Great idea. That's a very good idea. Thank you. Okay, back to the pollinator. Well, no, I was just thinking, um, what's the time? Like, like, do you have a certain amount of time to spend money you get from them? Like if for we, we got the 30,000 like two, a year and a half ago, maybe two, even two years ago. Is there a time limit that? No, no, it's um, <laughs> there's some, some of these things have been uh, languishing for five years. Um, oh, okay. No, we, we, we have the money, the money's sitting there and it's never going to, I mean, it's the town's money. So it's just sitting in an account and we have to let them know. Um, we should, we should let them know before town meeting this year to say that we're still in the middle of things because the library project is going on a little longer than we were hoping so um we're not going to be using it this year but we still plan to use it right yeah it sounds like it's premature to try to make a change and go to town meeting about what we would be using the oh, money for it's just, it's just a matter yeah, of yeah, saying yeah. not using it yet i okay. just wanted to make sure we still have it you know? oh yeah 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 okay okay all right is there any other business i just want to say thank you sam I'm so glad you're going to be part of the committee. Me yeah. too. Wonderful. Yeah, welcome. Me too. I'm excited. Good energy. Yep. Yeah. That is definitely. Oh, now, wait, are you talking about Sam or Etta? <laughs> <laughs> Both. She's a, she's a bonus. I think you've got a lot of energy there. Me would be the chair, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Just needs a few more years under her belt. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, do I have a um, move into adjourn? Okay. And all those in favor or no second, I'm sorry, second. And then all those in favor. Okay. And so that is unanimous. I'm going to stop the recording at 449.